All right, internet, welcome back to the channel. So today, 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 I am going to be taking out my status seats. Like, oh no, what's going on, Brian? Nothing's going on. I just saw that you can add like a stitch pattern in this lower bolstering right here. And I definitely want to add something there. And since it's the down season, there's really no racing, no car shows, there's nothing going on. I thought this is the best time to do it. So. I just want to give you guys sort of like a behind the scenes of like my everyday kind of life, like the small things I do not on camera. And then when I do get on camera, hey, I did all this. Instead of showing you guys the final like outcome, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks from now, I figured I would just record what I'm doing. So I'm taking the seats out. I'm gonna get these sent off to uh, Status Racing again so they can add just a little design right here that I want. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be on the inside of each seat so when you open the door you can see it so that's what i'm going to be doing today is taking these seats back out shipping them back to status so they can hook me up with some gnarly stuff so time to get these seats out let's get started all right before i pull the seats out i want to point out that you can make the graphic that you want embroidered on your seat so if you have a small logo like mine like Toronto racing or any words you want to put in the center of your seat besides the gtx with the circuit logo you can make it into a jpeg and send it into status and they can embroider it as long as it's not too complicated they can definitely get it done so at the end of the video after i take these to fedex i'm going to show you guys what i use to create my graphics and then with that same internet software where you can create it into a JPEG or various other types of uh, files to use. So I'll show you that at the end of this. Let me get these seats up, get to FedEx. Mm. All right, so I'm actually taking these bad boys to FedEx and I'm gonna keep my, keep my inserts here. I want FedEx taking these bad boys. All right, so, but, so I'm pretty much gonna send the shell because that's all we need to do and get that embroidered right up in here. So with that being said, uh, I'm gonna bubble wrap them because let's face it, nobody really cares about your stuff as much as you care about your stuff. And I don't want these FedEx boys messing up my seats. So got some bubble wrap, 20 bucks and a little bit of tape to bubble wrap these bad boys in. And then I'll let FedEx box them up because they're kind of big and I don't just carry big boxes like this around with me, you know what I mean? So yeah, gonna go ahead and grab these puppies, put them up there, wrap them up and then I will take them to FedEx. All right guys, so I'm headed to the FedEx and I wanted to talk about the truck somebody asked me i did a recent like uh instagram you know asked me a question and someone asked me what did i prefer driving the ram or the challenger and that's kind of like a difficult question to answer and i the way i answered was that it depends on my mood um everyday daily driver the ram is the way to go it's a truck it's comfortable it's not as loud i mean it's a completely stock uh exhaust system uh, it's got a little rumble to it from the factory but it's not loud uh, and it's just a comfortable ride the challenger on the other hand although it's 10 times faster and a lot more fun to drive it is extremely loud uh, it gets to the point for me i don't know if i'm getting old or what but after like 30 or 40 minutes i'm like man this thing's pretty loud it starts kind of you know hurting the ears a little bit on top of that it's super stiff the way i got it set up uh it's not exactly the most comfortable ride uh, but when i use it for autocross or something that's you know that's where that car shines so taking the challenger to like go get groceries or just run small errands definitely ain't it uh, that's just not the car for that anymore uh, small cruises like maybe uh, like i said through the hill country or something if ashley wants to go for a drive like yeah i'll take the challenger out but again it's not as comfortable so for like every day going to the gym going to school going to work running errands the ram is the way to go all right let me get to fedex I'm, I'm done rambling let me get to fedex and then we'll uh i'll show you guys how to make the graphics okay so you can do this on your phone or you can do this on your desktop don't mind my cracked screen as you can see we have the canva app and you just download that and you can either create a new login or you can sign in with google i think i use signing in with google you just enter your gmail account so once this loads the first thing you're going to want to do is hit that logo button 
and create your first logo. It's got some templates you can choose to create your logo from here and you can go that route. My logo was created in a different app and then I imported it into this app and then I exported it as a JPEG. Now, for today's logo, since it's gonna be really simple, we're just gonna choose the blank logo card. Again, it'll show you some templates. Feel free to choose from those. If not, you can just pull this down and you swipe it down just like that. You touch the screen again, you hit the plus button, and my embroidered, uh, it's just gonna be some text. The new thing I wanna embroider, so we're just gonna hit text. We're gonna to go to add heading, and then you can click that heading, and you can put uh, whatever text it is that you want to add. Not because it suck, but it's sick, there you go. Okay, so if you wanna change the color to this text, you can just scroll on the bottom here, and you can choose the color like that. Now, since I want my colors to match my logo, and I had already recently uploaded my logo, I just need to go into my recent uploads and find my logo. It's one of the first things I ever uploaded, and there it is. So then you can click the text again, and then you can click the font color, and it'll show photo colors. As you can see, I can click the same orange that is my logo. So I can keep that there. I can get rid. I can get rid of the big logo by hitting the trash button. I can center my text. It'll show you the lines to show you that it's center. And I can size it bigger or smaller. And then that's not the text that I want to use. So you've got tons of different fonts to choose from. If you know the font you want, you can type it in. Um, I have recently typed in the font that my logo is, which is Pacifico. And it pops up like that and then it'll change the font it is that simple so if you want the words to be stacked differently you're gonna have to individually add those something like this and then match that let's match the color and then once you choose the color one time, you can choose it, it'll pop up again. So it's super simple. So if I wanted something like this, let's go ahead and add the last word. Where everything was offset, you're gonna have to manually, you know, change the position and just have three individual uh, words just like that. So once you're done designing your logo or the words that you want to use, this is just a quick edit I'm using. You wanna hit that very last button in the upper right hand corner. You wanna to go to save as and PNG is what's suggested. So for status, you want to send it as a JPEG. Uh, it's a 500 by 500. I always bump it up to 1000 by 1000 pixels. The quality file size is large or 80, and we're gonna keep that just like that. Now, I do have a paid version of the Canva app and software on the laptop, so those little crowns mean that I have access to that. If not, it'll give you the standard 500 by 500. But since this isn't a very um, complex logo, they're just three little words, I'm not really too worried about it. So again, save as, we have PNG, switch it to JPEG, bump this up to a thousand by a thousand for me, hit download, it'll start saying preparing your design, it's saved to camera roll, and then you can go ahead and go to your email, attach that file, and send it off to status, and that's how you can get your logo or some words put into your custom seats. Alrighty guys, so hopefully that'll answer some questions on how you can design your very own logo without having to pay somebody. Uh, the more you use that software, the easier it gets to use. And if you can just download the app on your phone and you can do it on the fly, it's pretty easy. Uh, but if you want a bigger screen, like sometimes if I'm designing something very complex on Canva, I my fingers on the touch screen on my phone kind of get in the way. So using the desktop is better for that. So like when I created the Toronto Racing logo, it was much more complex than just three words. Uh, I'd rather do it on a desktop. But remember, the important thing is to download it as a JPEG instead of the suggested PNG.
But that's gonna wrap up today's video. I sent off the seats, I still need to design uh, what I wanna put in that lower embroidered part and send it off to Status Racing so they can get that stitch in there and then I can get them back, put them back in the car. So you know what to do guys, if you like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. Till next time guys, peace out.